Today we are talking about working with the millennials. Um, we all have an idea that India is fundamentally a country under 30, a young country. And uh, over the last seven years, I've been in the country after I've come back. I've had a great privilege and an opportunity to work with a very young set of product guys, tech guys, engineering guys, marketeers, performance marketeers, category owners. Yeah, I mean, they operated in the consumer internet and tech space. But it gives you a very strong view of how you want to work with them, how you can get the best out of them, and how you can get the best value out of them. Now let's break the age group barrier. Uh, campus hire who's about 20, 21, 22. A mid-20s guy, a late-20s guy, an early-30s guy. That's your age bracket. They're vocal, opinionated, needs everything gratified right now, right here, right now. They also are very environment conscious. They're also very climate conscious. They're also very, very, very ownership and accountable driven individuals because they're very self-powered thanks to the internet, thanks to their devices, thanks to their exposure to the gaming industry. They are connected across the world more than people like us, yourselves, our elder age group or our younger age group. They consume content all the time. They communicate in real time. They don't wait. They decide and they do. If they want, if they're enjoying a job, they express. If they're not enjoying a job, they leave, they go away in the mountains for a holiday and they will not even bother about the effort. I've had many, many as such experiences. But the beauty of working with them is not the model of ring fence and command. It doesn't work. You can give the thought of if I want to tell this bunch I'm looking for, they will say sort of. If you want to put a ring fence and a guardrail around them and over index protocols, they'll say bugger off. But if you sit with them on the floor, understand their work, how they communicate in between each other, how they communicate with their parents, you will realize that generation is 10x intelligent than us. And their barometer of respect is very different. They'll give you respect, but you have to earn their respect. That is there in every walk and sphere of life, but in this generation, that's fundamentally very important. They will shower a lot of affection to the extent they are emotional and expressive. Some of them who aren't expressive will still show up on their face that they are not happy with the way you are treating them. One of the biggest observations I've heard in the last six, seven years working with these young bunches, you treat them as your peer. And when I say you treat them as your peer, I mean the way you treat your CEO and the way you treat your 22-year-old has to be visible, honest, and transparent. Then they will do the same. They want to participate everywhere. Bring them in. If you are mid-40s, your invention capabilities are questionable. Theirs are not. If you are in your mid-50s, do not even think you know more than them. That's the audacity which they detest. Yes, they will respect if you're genuinely innovative, inventive, and a deep thinker. They will love you more. They will become your mentees. But if you push them that you have to gulp me, they will spew it out. They will vomit morals and values out of the window if they don't agree. Working with the millennials for me is 
sit with them for hours, understand their operating model, how they think for hours. More than your C-suite, more than your boardroom, more than your life which you have with your peers. Those who are fundamentally your thought-bearing, thought-provoking, thought-driving generation. It is a hands-on experience of the last seven years speaking. Maybe I'm wrong. But nine out of ten peers of mine feels the same. And you know the best part about them is their energy levels are organic. Our energy levels have to be dependent on health, a good life, and a good workout regime. Their metabolism level, their thinking level have far more velocity and speed. Understand one thing. One third of their life is over. Three fourth of their life is over. People like us, two third is over. One third is over. They will try to do it. So you better pull up your sleeves and start decoding their head through your heart, not through your head. You will have an option from tomorrow. Very intense topic. A very topic close to my heart, a very a topic where I love my young ones. I think they are genuine. The Gen X values, speed, deliverables, belief systems, their brand ambassadors. So you take a back seat, put them up front. I'll finish my thoughts here. Signing off. Have a great day, great morning, great afternoon, evening. Sayonara, bye bye, namaste.